Hey guys and dolls, what is up? I feel like there's a weird lighting, but I'm just going to go with it because it is what it is. It is 7.30 at night on a Sunday, and I have some amazing things to show you. One thing that I have to show you is just something that my mom bought me. And I don't know why she didn't save it for Christmas, but she didn't. The fact that my parents embrace my dolldom, my, my, my love of dolls, this interesting yet weird hobby that I got into at a later stage in life. It's not, the dolls are new, yes, but my love of toys is not. So I don't think it's as abnormal as I tend to think it is. Like I don't have a problem with me collecting dolls, but sometimes I'm like, wow, how did I get here? And this is like just such a strange jump for me to get into and to really love. Like I feel so connected to Beverly and my dolls. Like I feel a sense of, dare I say kinship? Um, not like a mother, but more like a, like they're my friends. I, and I know it sounds so odd. It even sounds odd for me. I just love them. I love, love, love dressing them, getting them cute outfits. I feel like they're just a part of me and I really, really connect with them. And they're really good for my mental health because it's like little people to dress up and it's just therapeutic and fun. And they're like my girls, you know? So I don't think it's as abnormal because I've always collected toys. I've always loved toys. I've gone through these phases of I would have a lot of toys and then I would get rid of them because I would want, I would want my room to be more austere. And I felt as if, ah, oh, maybe I should just grow up a little bit and get rid of some of the clutter and some of the toys because it's a little bit... I kind of did that when I was 18. I wanted to be like the sophisticated adult. You know, and in my 20s, I kind of got into Shopkins, and then I got rid of them because I'm like, eh. And then I was like, I don't know, because, you know, there's certain points in your life where things just change and you want to be a certain way. And then I was like, my my love of toys came back. And then I would get, I had, I used to have some Hello Kitty stuff in my room, and then I got rid of that because I was just like, I'm not really that into Hello Kitty. And then it resurged during the pandemic, and now it metamorphosized into this chaotic fun land of joy, happiness, and doll, you know, the kingdom of dolls in my room. So there is that. Now, I bought these from Dollar Tree. This is going to be kind of a, well, it's going to be kind of a collective haul, kind of, kind of, sort of. So I got these from Dollar Tree. And in one of my vlogs, there are these new dolls at Dollar Tree, and they're called Friends Forever. And they're molded plastic. Their hair is not real. It is a completely molded doll. They're actually cute. I actually liked some of them. Um, I did not know that they came with fashions. So you could put these little fashions on them. And these are what the dolls look like. And so they are, on a field trip to the Science Center, a group of incredible girls became best friends. While discovering their uniqueness and celebrating their special connection, they create a bond that will last a lifetime. Whether at summer camp, attending school, playing sports, or relaxing at home, this gifted friend group embraces all aspects of life with each other by their side. Join in the adventures of Viera, Karina, Alanis, and I, I, I don't know, as they become the Friends Forever Club. So let's open these up and I don't know what they're going to fit. I'm looking at you, Laguna. Uh, they're tiny little fashions. I don't think they're going to fit Barbie. They certainly won't fit Rainbow High. Maybe they'll fit the LOL Tweens? I don't know. I just really wanted to pick them up and see what they what they were about. They smell like plastic or perfume. I don't know why. I got like a strong whiff of perfume when I opened this up. Oh, look at how 
little itty bitty this is. So, this is very itty bitty. I don't know if this would fit an LOL tween. I don't know, I have no idea. But this one just looks like this. It's just a weird little dress. A little skirt, a little dress. I don't know. I don't know what you can make it be. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe Rainbow High, but LOL tween. I'm not sure, but this is what they look like. I'm just showing you them. I think I got all of them. Um, I just really wanted to open them and show you in case you haven't seen these and you're interested. So, yeah. Very interesting. I bought these on a whim, not knowing who they would fit. So, they might not fit anything that I have. I think they will, though. I, th I think they might. Yeah. Okay, look at this. Look at how cute this is. That's adorable. And it's just got Velcro on the back. The back is, you know, got a lot of strings, but it's pretty good for a dollar. It's pretty good for a dollar. I mean, this little tag gets in the way, but yeah, it's, it's pretty good for a dollar, I'd say. You can always cut the strings off, I mean, make it look a little better. I kind of like this a lot. I was thinking maybe even Fail Fix. Fail Fix is a line that got discontinued, but look at that. That's a really cute little dress. I don't know who it's going to fit though. Okay, we'll open up all of them. Somebody was being a smart ass and saying that I talk too much in my videos. You guys know how I am. If you've been with me for a long time, you know that sometimes I do a quick haul and sometimes I like to sit and talk with you. What is wrong with that? This is YouTube. This isn't TikTok. I mean, I think people's brains get accustomed to TikTok and they're like, I want it fast. I want it now. Hurry it up. Um, that's not for me. There's some people that I watch that I really love because they talk. I want to watch a video. I don't want to watch a 15 second TikTok of someone dancing. I, I come to YouTube for different th reasons and, you know, reasons and seasons. I come to you, this is really cute. I come to YouTube for different things. I don't come to YouTube to uh, think that I'm going to get a short form video. I come here because I enjoy listening to people talk about the things that they love, showing the things that they love. I could just easily do this and howdy ho, uh, there you go, but I'm not going to do that to you guys. I'm going to show you what they look like. Um, I'm going to give you the tea, give you the really dealio. This one is cute. Look at this. This is really cute. I think that might fit Laguna. I don't know. We'll have to see. That's really, really cute. Again, just Velcro in the back. The Velcro on the back. All made by Green Briar. Really cute. I like that. Okay. Open up this one. Yeah, I'm just like, what do y'all come to YouTube for? I come for a good video. I'll watch a 40 minute video. I really will. Especially if it's someone that I enjoy watching. I'll watch a sit down video of somebody just telling a story for 40 minutes. Um, there are some channels that I watch that are like that. Oh, this one's the best made, I think. This is a really cute one. And it just, you know, just like that. This one's the cutest one. This one is so cute. Look at that. That's adorable. I love that. Okay, so now let's get into some fashion finds that I got from Walmart. 
I don't know if I showed this before, but I thought this was really cute. I have no idea if I showed this. If I did, I did. It's been laying here for a while. I have a feeling that I didn't. It's got a picnic basket, um, like a little pinafore type dress, a cherry dress. I bought it for the cherry dress. It's really, really cute. This one I have never seen before, and I really loved it because it said Veggie Saurus. And look at all the accessories it comes with. A purse, a clutch, jewelry, shoes. Of course, the shoes will not fit rainbow high, but the necklaces will, and the bracelet will. So the bracelet and necklaces will fit, and they can even use the purse. And there is, uh, the headband won't work either, but everything else will. The necklaces, the bracelets, that's what I really love. And I just think it's so cute. So for like Bella, yeah, really pretty. Okay, so this is the one that I had put back. And I was like, why did I put that back? So I went today and they had a whole bunch of them. This is a purple and blue butterfly pajama set. This is for Everly. I'm going to take this over to my sister's house because I just think this is so, so cute. And it'll match Everly's hair. Isn't that cute? I'm so glad I picked it up. Um, so for dolls really encouraged me to... <laughs> she didn't encourage me. I watched her video. And I got inspired to go pick this up. I've seen it at the Walmart for like a couple weeks now. And I just was like, eh, I don't do blue. I'm pink. And then when I saw So for Dolls do her video on the outfits, I was like, girl. She put it on one of her blue haired dolls. And I was like, I'm such a dummy. Why didn't I think of that? And then I got this. I really love this. The blue puffer faux fur jacket. I think this is so, so cute. I know exactly who this is going on. This is going on Corinne. Look at this. It's so cute. It vel it's it's a Velcro, you know, from the front. It's a really thick puffer jacket. I love this. I put this back. Like a dumbbell, I put this back. And then I went back the next day to see if I could find it, and it was gone. And I went back to Walmart today, and it was there staring at me, saying, Buy me, you idiot. Why do you always put things back on the shelf? You know they're not going to be there the next time. And I finally did pick up the hot cocoa weather one because I asked my mom, I said, do you think I should get this? And she's like, I like it. She's like, I like this right here. And I'm like, okay. So sometimes I do ask. Sometimes my mom will say, no, you don't need that. Don't buy that. And then I probably would have put it, I probably wouldn't have put it back if she would have said no. But she was actually like, no, that's really cute. You need to get it. Either way. If she said yes, I would get it. If she said no, I would have gotten it. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy like that. But isn't it cute? Look at that. It's adorable. Look at the pants. It's long-sleeved. I need more long-sleeved uh, pajama sets. Let me show you something that I did because I wasn't sure if I had it or not. I couldn't for the life of you. I could not remember if I had this. So I didn't buy it. And I'm like, you dumb bunny. I couldn't remember if I had this or not. So when I saw it, I was like, I think, I think I have this already. And it opens up and it has this little dress underneath. I don't like the dress. I like the bottom part, but I would probably cover this with a shirt. But yeah, I was like, I, I don't know. The reason why I thought that was because I have this one. They look extremely similar. I mean, look at the embroidered part down here. And then look at the embroidered part back down here. There's also a blue one like this. So I was like, you dumb bunny. So, because <laughs> I went and I looked in my closet, my doll closet, and I was like, if you don't have it, you need to go buy it. So I went and I picked that up as well. Pink peacoat and blue glitter dress. Don't sleep on these. Don't be like me. Don't sleep on these. When you see them, buy them. If you think you already have it, pick it up anyway because these clothes are really, really good for $10.97. $10.97. Any clothing item that you buy from American Girl is always $30 to $40. And these are a still of a deal. The My Life As clothing brand is amazing. It's amazing. Don't sleep on these because they just are some of the greatest 
fashions you can find that are affordable for 18 inch dolls. These are awesome. So the other thing that I'm going to show you, I'm so excited for this. So excited for this. LOL Tweens, the five pack, the five pack. This one is living at my sister's right now. This one I wanted because I just, I don't have her. I'm not crazy about her. I would have never bought her, you know, on her own. Um, again, the basketball one, I'm not really keen on. But I actually, I kind of changed my mind. I like, I like Hoops Cutie. Hoops Cutie reminds me of something that my nephews would like. So I actually really, really love this five pack. And the fact that my mom got her, got them for me is amazing. I mean, I don't know if she got it on sale. She didn't tell me. But I really, really love this. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to open this up. So, oh my gosh, these are so cute. So, Hoops Cutie, Fancy Girl, Freshest, Cherry BB, and Lexi Girl. And my original Fancy Girl was messed up, so I ended up selling her. Um, I love Cherry BB. I love Lexi Girl. Freshest is actually really cute, and Hoops Cutie is actually really cute. They kind of remind me of the 90s um, aesthetic. So, those are really fun. And I just, I love it so much. I'm so excited for this. And they're going to be standing in front of my American Girl dolls. Now, originally, I don't like anybody standing in front of my American Girl dolls, but I tried them out. And they're relatively good size so that they won't block out their outfits. Because I dress my American Girl dolls and I want them to have their outfits stand out. So, oh! She is here. Hold on. I just had an epiphany. I thought maybe I, I threw her out. I thought maybe I either donated her or I took her to my... I couldn't find her. I could not find her. So I really want to try these outfits on her. So I put these glasses on her. I, this is a fail fix doll and I really, really want to try and fit one of these dresses on her because I think it might work. Let's come back at you and see if it works. I couldn't find her. I was like, what? What did I do with her? Like, where is she? I really want to see if one of these dresses from the Dollar Tree fit her. And then I turn around and she's staring right at me. I was like, where did I put her? Because sometimes I travel with her. And I wasn't sure if I if I donated her because I did donate the rest of the Fail Fix girls. Um, because I was like, I, my room is getting too full. And I, I can't fit all of the dolls in here. I'm going to be truthful with you. I see some doll pictures of people's rooms and there's no walking space and there's there's just boxes and boxes of stuff. And I got to the point where I'm going to only keep the dolls that I really, really like and get rid of the ones that I'm not too keen on. And the ones that I'm not too keen on were the fail fix dolls. I do have some fail fix dolls at my sister's. They're in the closet. Um, up, they're in a... They're in a doll case up in a closet, but I was just like, I can't for the life of me keep every single thing. I just can't. Everything that I, I can't keep everything that I want to keep is pretty much what I was going to say. Um, I just can't. I don't have the room, so I um, oh, I think it's going to fit. I think it's going to fit. Okay, I need to fix her little booty butt. It fits. It fits. It fits. It's really short though. Oh, I feel like I need shorts underneath this. It fits, but it needs, um, it needs something. It's a little too short for my liking. I might have shorts that I could put on underneath this. Let's try the other ones though. It fits, but I'm not sure if I like how it fits. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, I had to be really choosy and not be a hoarder. And really get rid of the things that weren't working. Because, let's face it, I live in a small room. And I don't want to live with boxes 
and crap piled up. I mean, I just don't. Oh, this one fits better. Okay, that's why you have to try them all on because all of them will fit differently. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at that. That is so super cute. I so love this. I so love this. Okay, so fail fix dolls. These will work on fail fix dolls. I don't want to undress any of my LOL tweens because I keep them the same. I don't change them. Uh, I don't like to change them. They're just, they're perfect the way they are. So I did get rid of some fail fix dolls because I was like, I can't. And I thought maybe I got rid of her. She was one of my favorites. And I thought, wow, I guess I, I guess I really did clean myself out. Um, let's see this one. This is a little longer. We'll try them all on. We'll try them all on. Um, but this is a little risque. You're a little risque. I don't know about, I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't like my dolls looking cheap. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it's on the verge of being indecent. No. We're not about having indecent dolls. <laughs> okay, the last... Oh, we'll try the yellow one on. Again, I don't think this one's going to work. We're not going to try that one on. We're going to try this one on. Um, so, yeah. I saw some pictures that I was like, Oh, my Lord. This is what I don't want to become. This is what I... I just there's walking space in my room um, and this one is too short but it could be a blouse it could be a blouse so yes these do fit they fit nicely and um, I'm glad I got these because they're really cute so yes indeedy she looks so pretty her bow is messed up I'll have to redress her and make her look decent. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh God, no, we are not going to be the hoarder. We are not going to be the hoarder. It's not okay. Okay, so these clothes are amazing. I think I can work with them. I think I can literally make them into dresses or blouses or something. Um, I think they're just perfect. This one, I think I can make like a skirt, maybe. I don't know. I, I'll figure it out. But yeah, so. The story behind my collecting is that you guys have not seen a lot of doll collecting from me right now um, because I had to be really, really choosy and I just redid my whole room. I can't be bringing in a lot of stuff. So the Alabama tweens I knew were going to fit and I knew where I was going to put them. There are, there, I think there's a 90s doll coming out for American Girl. If I like the doll... I will buy her, but I will have to take one doll out of my collection. I'll have to. Because I don't have the room to have... If they're supposed to be twins, I don't have the room to have two more dolls. So I'll have to really think long and hard which dolls I will potentially take out of my collection. If I don't like the dolls, I'll just buy the clothes. Um, there is a doll that I have in my collection that I'm not fond of at all. I started collecting very fast. I didn't pay attention to certain qualities like hair, texture, and how to take care of them long term. And what would be easiest to take care of long term, because I like to play with my dolls, I like to dress my dolls. So some of the hair textures I don't really like um, because they're just awful. One of the ones that I bought recently I'm not really that fond of. One of the doll's hair that I have is really nice. It's textured hair, but it's soft and beautiful and it's wonderful. Um, so we'll have to definitely, definitely see and reevaluate my collection once the new uh, girl of the year comes out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But with that being said, 
I love you guys to Reese's Pieces and Beyond. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon. I have a lot of doll stuff to put away and I just have not put it away because one, I haven't been here and two, I've been really tired. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. And if I said it twice, it's twice as nice. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon. We do a lot of fun things here. With that being said, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. What was that? What did I just do? I don't know.